I teach many online classes where I facilitate timed exercises, where the students see some instructions on the screen and they see a timer. And while I am in the Zoom meeting with them, they go ahead and do the exercise. So let me show you how I do that. Now I do this on a Mac. If you have Windows or another operating system, I welcome you to comment below and let us know what app you use on your operating system. But I'm, there are similar uh, apps on, on, on your system, I'm sure, too. So on the Mac, I first pull up the Stickies app. Stickies, that's what it's called. I know on Windows there's something called Notepad, I think, that, that serves a similar purpose. So what, what you're seeing here are my various sticky notes. I've already created instructions for my upcoming classes, and that's why these sticky notes are here. But let me show you how to create a new sticky note. So I click on File, New Note, and it always shows up as uh, yellow. I can change the color by clicking Color up here and change it to whatever color I want, let's say gray. And then I can, here's where I type in the instructions I want for the students. So let's say I'm at, facilitating an exercise where I ask them to, uh, let's see, please answer the following question. What is your favorite animal? <laughs> and then, um, and I'll say, uh, chat below or ask any, ask questions below. Okay, something like that. And then I can select all by doing Command A and I can, uh, enlarge the font by doing Command plus on the keyboard. Hold down Command and then press plus on the keyboard. And then each time I do that, it makes the, um, the font bigger. And I can also select any part of the note. For example, select this line and I do Command B for bold. And I can also italicize by doing Command I for italicize. And then I can also drag the note on the side to make it wider, or I can drag it on the bottom to make it taller or shorter. And of course, I can drag the corners to, to adjust it that way. Now, why do I have this special note down here? Well, it's because when I am on Zoom and I am, um, uh, you know, sharing my screen, some students don't know how to exit the full screen, so that's why I have this note that I created. This is also a sticky note, but I just stick it on the bottom corner. And I will tell you why soon, why I put it on the bottom left corner. So let's say that I wanted my students to do this exercise next. I will basically click and drag this down here. Okay, down here. And I leave this space open. Now, why do I leave that space open? That's where my timer goes. I use a timer app on the Mac called Smart Countdown Timer. I will pull it up for you now. Smart Countdown Timer. And the nice thing about Smart Countdown Timer, I'm going to click and drag this uh, note. I can click and drag the top here to move it around. And I also want to just kind of adjust the, uh, the width of the note. So it's about the same as this, just kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, technically, I guess I could drag everything so that the timer and the, uh, the instructions are all the same size. But, you know, I... Um, yeah, I just gotten used to this particular width uh, for my notes. Anyway, so here's the timer. And the nice thing about this is I can just say, if I want them to do um, a 90 second exercise, I can do 90 S and press enter and 90 second exercise begins. Or if I want them to do a one minute exercise, I do, I, I type, I click and type here one M and I press enter and the one minute timer begins. So this is how I set it up. And then I use Zoom to share a portion of my screen. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video. You can look at the description of this video below to see uh, the link to that video on how to share just a portion of the Zoom screen. So I hope this is helpful for, and, and by the way, what I do recommend is that you create your notes for your upcoming exercises and just have them on your stickies. Um, ready to go so that when you're ready to swap out the exercise, let's say that this is done, then I swap it out and I put the next exercise here. Now you might say, is the screen looking cluttered for the students? No, it's not because um, I only share this portion of the screen, this portion. And the other reason why I put it on the lower left corner, I was going to explain to you why that is. Let me go ahead and pause this timer here. It's making me nervous. The reason why I put a lower left corner is because then I can pull up my notes and work on my notes, my teaching notes, while the students only see this lower left corner of my screen. That's all they see. They don't see this part of my screen where I'm working on my notes. So while they are doing the exercise, I am looking at the next part that I have to teach them. 
So that's the way, that's why I, I, I do it this way. So if you have any questions or any other suggestions on how you like to facilitate time exercises using Zoom, uh, I look forward to your comments. So thanks. I hope this is helpful.